Hi everybody, happy Sunday. We're gonna get started in about two minutes. Welcome, my name is Rachel, if we haven't met before. It's been a while since I've done an Instagram Live, so super excited. Good morning. So today for class, you're going to need a mat, if you have one, or just a soft surface, light set of weights or cans if you don't have weights at home, and then a chair or countertop or something to hold onto for balance. We will get started in about a minute or so. We will let some other people come on. Good morning. Excited for our Raise the Bar class. If you had to describe yourself in one emoji, feel free to let me know in the comments. So I know how everybody is feeling today. Mine would be this, the big smile one. I got a lot of sleep, so I'm feeling good. <laughs> awesome. For those that are here, I'm gonna put the music on now. Good morning, Bethany. The thumbs up, I'll take that too. I'm gonna put the music on. Let me know what it sounds like on your end when I step back, just so I know that it is loud enough for you to hear. Let me know how loud or quiet this is for you. You wanna be able to hear me, but also hear the music as well. Let me know, because then we will. Keep it going and get it started. How did that sound? Feel free to let me know in the chat. It's your class, we wanna make sure we are ready to go. Anita, hello, welcome, it's been so long. Okay, Nicole, you're giving me the thumbs up. It's 10, we're gonna get started very soon. I'm just gonna get a sip of my water, then we're gonna keep going. So if you didn't know, we are here for Second Harvest today. So what they do in Canada is that they take surplus food from restaurants and farms and they go out into the community and deliver that to those in need. So super awesome to be moving for a cause today. If you've never participated in our Raise the Bar charity class, thank you for joining us. We actually have a link in our bio, so you are more than welcome to donate before, during, after class. But I do thank you for moving with me today for an awesome cause. This is our triple A class. So if you haven't done that class before, it's all about muscle conditioning. So we're gonna have a full lower body leg section, then we're gonna have an upper body arm section, and then we're gonna move into some core at the end. So 50 minutes total. If you need to modify, take a break, feel free to listen to your body. The whole idea is that we're moving for a cause today. We're doing something good for ourselves. So if you are at a five out of 10, 10 out of 10, whatever you're at today in terms of your energy level, do what works for you. Let's have a good time. It's Sunday. I haven't done an Instagram live in a while, so it is good to see a lot of you as well. Hopefully you will join us as we go. But you can stand on your mat facing me. I'm just going to put our music back a little bit and then we'll get started. Awesome. So again, standing on the mat. My name is Rachel. If I haven't met you before, or maybe you haven't seen my face on our platform, but let's get started. I'm gonna get my timer out now as well, so we are good to go. Stepping your feet hip distance apart on your mat. Let's roll the shoulders back and down. Take a few big breaths here. Awesome. Again, take the first few moments to check in how you're feeling today. Know what you've got to work with. Hold here, take a big inhale up. Exhale, arms go around and reverse. Big breath in and exhale, awesome. Good morning to those that are just joining. For some of us, 10 is asleep in. Some of us, 10 might be early. Let's take another big breath in, find a flat back. Bring your hands to thighs, roll up slow, release the head and neck on the way up, and repeat that again. Big breath in, flat back, waking up the back side of the body on the way up. Let's take it two more times just like this. Always get to focus in on the breath first thing in the morning, especially at the beginning, beginning of class. One more, big breath. Awesome. Holding it at the top, squatting it down slow. Inhale, down. Exhale up, so hips, knees, ankles are in line. If you need to step your feet a little bit wider, make that squat stance work for you as long as hips, knees, ankles are in line. But let's take it a little faster now. Down and up. Inhale, exhale. Start to draw the core and squeeze those glutes to the top. First squats of class and check in how they feel this morning, good. Down and up, awesome. Four more, 
more. Think about pressing evenly through that foot. Good, last two. Hold the top, extend the arms out. Right arm goes down and back. And then switch, left side. Follow your eyes. Keep your hips and knees facing forward. You're opening up chest, back and shoulders because a good section of class today will be upper body work. Right arm up and over now. Big breath in and exhale center. This one's usually always a little bit tougher for us because we're trying to reach overhead, getting that full range of motion. Good, one more just like this. Last version, drop the elbow back. Exhale, pull. Inhale, center. We want to create lots of tension. Activating through that upper back. Good. One more each way. Awesome. From here, take it to a squat side to side. We go side, center, other side. Try to have even weight through those hips rather than shifting to the side. Inhale down, exhale up. Good. Maybe getting the heart rate elevated a little bit more, warming up the body. My condo is warm today, so I'm feeling good. <laughs> awesome. Standing up tall, lift the arms. Keep that going. Hopefully you're still here. It told me it paused on my end, but we're gonna keep it with those knees. Good. Pull, pull, up. Awesome, you've got eight more. Think of twisting from that shoulder. Four, three, get low. Step touch to your right. Side to side. Hips back. If it feels comfortable, add a little twist. Good. Stay low. You've got four, three, two, hold it wide. From here, feet wider than hips. From those hips, rotate down to 45. Lift those arms up. Relax the shoulders. We inhale down and exhale up. Think about stacking shoulders, ribs, and hips. So it's like you're sliding down a piece of glass. Very different from the squat where the bum goes back, chest goes forward. Awesome. I want us to feel those inner thighs. When you think about pushing out and pulling back in, get those inner thighs working. We push and pull a little faster. Down and up. Inhale, exhale. Good. Think about drawing the core and squeezing the glutes to the top. I want you to think that there's always full body tension. Everything gets to work, every movement. Awesome. Four more like this. Think sure you can see those big toes, so weight is in the little toe. Awesome, right, so last one, hold the bottom, arms to the side. Reach it side to side. A little party, you can put the arms up if you want. <laughs> then you raise the roof. I like your little shift here. <laughs> Good, we're just waking up this side of the core. Awesome. You've got eight more. Last six, stay low on the legs. Four, three, two, hold. Arms come up, melt a little deeper. And then one more inch than you thought. Good, stand up tall, turn the feet parallel, step together, roll the shoulders back and down and take one more big breath in, exhale out. We're ready to get started. So if you have something to hold on to, you're gonna hold on to it for this one. Hands light, sit the hips back, chest forward. My right leg stays, my left leg taps. Out, in, out, in. I know it might be opposite, so just bear it with me. Good. So when we're doing this motion, we want to think about hinging those hips back, chest forward. So we look like a nice long diagonal. All of my weight stays in the side that's not moving. So I'm loading up my standing leg. Good, hands nice and light. We're gonna activate through the shoulders and the upper back and core, so we're avoiding rounding down. Awesome. Good, just feeling that standing leg, get a little bit of heat. The first part of class will be all about lower body. Awesome. Out and in. Good. Four more now. Four. Three. Two. Tap out and hold. Slide your back foot along the ground. Noticing I'm shifting weight backwards. Now we lift it up and down. Up and down. So today we're keeping movement super simple, but I'm going to remind you that simple can also be challenging and effective. So super small movement. Good, nothing fancy, just one little leg lift. Think about watching that low back, so we're not arching. It's very tiny, but because we shifted our hips back, we're gonna get that standing leg working a little harder. This is a good time to start breathing when we start to feel that heat in the body. Go it up and down. Awesome, you've got four, three, two, hold the back leg up, flex the foot, draw the heel in now, in and out, in, and out. I want you to think about pulling and pushing. So you get that hamstring working. 
Notice if your hip is turned. I want you to turn it square. Keep the knee down. Pull in, push out. Awesome. How's that standing leg feeling? Still with me, yes? I'm asking early today. Normally I ask like 40 minutes in when we're almost there. <laughs> ask a few times, but good. In, hold it in. Little pulses up. Up, down, up, down. Super tiny. Notice if you're standing leg. Are you up here? Are you forward? Hinging back. So we get the back side of that leg. Good. Little pulses up. Up. Stay with me. Lift. Lift. Good. You've got four. Three. Take the standing leg. You stretch and bend. Stretch and bend. Now take a notice how I'm bending. I'm bending my right hip going backwards rather than my knee going forward. Good. So again, seeing the difference that the bend is going backwards rather than forward with the knee. We don't want to feel any quad or knee pressure. I want that glute to work. Yes. Awesome. Keep it going. Give me four, three, two. Hold it at the bottom. Pulse that standing leg. This is my favorite pulse ever in a bar class because that standing glute is giving us all we've got. Now, keep pulsing. You have the option to maybe take the arms off this time as well. Little pulse. And if not, maybe they go behind you. Maybe you just lighten your grip so you're not gripping on your chair. Good. Final four, three, hold it there. Option to take one hand off or two. Test the balance. Keep breathing, chest proud. Three, two, and one. Stand tall, flex that foot, cross it over a little stretch. From here, stay standing on the same side. You're gonna flex the other foot, lift the leg up and down. Up and down. So from the front, if I'm holding on, I'm gonna be lifting and lowering. My hips are square. I want you to stay standing on the same leg. So for me, it was this side. So I'm gonna stay standing and the same leg moves, side and down. If you want those hands on your hips or out or up, you can take it there. But the goal is to still feel that standing leg get all the work. Awesome. Up and down. So standing tall rather than sledging. I always imagine it's like there's a string on top of my head. It's pulling me up rather than pulling me sideways. Keep this going, up and down. Keep knee and toe facing out, yes. Now whole little pulses. Up, up, up. So sometimes we think that only the moving leg works. Oftentimes it's actually the side that doesn't move that gives you that support. So let's stay with it. Watch if we're getting tired. Awesome, hold, circle that leg, forward. The goal is to keep those hips still rather than moving through the whole back. Good, big circle. All about control. Again, hands can be on for support. Well, let's reverse that circle. How is that glute feeling? It is gonna get one more opportunity to work, so bear with me. Good, two more. Last one. Now, take that moving leg, we lunge. Inhale down, exhale, lift the knee. Inhale down, exhale, lift the knee. Hands can come on the waist or overhead for balance. Exhale up. So I want you to feel that standing glute give you one last little push of effort. Watching your front knee, it doesn't collapse in. I want you to think about weight being on the big toe, little toe and heel. So we go down and then we exhale, press up, drive through that foot. Good. If the balance is not there, just touch the foot today. If you need the support, hang on, but we want to think of it as a light, gentle support, not a little gripping action. Good, down and exhale up. Awesome. Let's take it three pulses down now. Three, two, exhale up. Notice when I pulse, I'm pulsing down into the front heel and the back knee rather than forward. So we want to notice the difference down, which is good, versus forward. It's going to be a little bit too much knee pressure. So pulsing down. Get that heel digging into your floor. Three, two, exhale, lift up. Now remember, every move is full body. So draw the core in, squeeze that glute. Think about a proper alignment with that upper body. Awesome. Two more like this. Now find the bottom little pulses down. Bring the hands to the chest. One inch deeper, really digging that front heel in. Let's go. Good time to breathe. So I know that one glute is getting a little bit of heat here. Hold, rotate to your front knee. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center, pause. Shift forward. Come back center. We're getting a little fancy. Shift. 
good. Awesome, if you want the hands behind the head, you can also take it here. We twist, we go center, we shift, and back. Noticing when I rotate, I'm only rotating above the belly button, so my hips and knees don't move with me. Good, I leave with the shoulder. When I shift, my front leg stays bent. Awesome. Two more full rounds. Yes, shift. Awesome, one more here. Shift it forward. Big finish hold, arms up. Let's get one inch deeper. And then one more inch than you thought. You had a hold, four, three, hands come back one, stand up tall. Flex that foot, cross over a little stretch. Okay, all we're gonna do is we're gonna move our chair or you can turn around to the other side. I just don't want my back to you. When you're ready, hinging back. Other leg now, taps out and in, tap out, in, out, in. So checking back in on all the sensations we felt on the first side, seeing how they vary or differ from the second side now. Awesome. Remember when we're tapping, the hips go back, chest forward, nice long line. So I should look like a diagonal when my head and toe are in that long line. Good. Hands light. Good. Anybody else getting hot? Whew. You're doing way more work than me and I am getting heated up. <laughs> Tap it out and in. Out and in. Nice diagonal. Good. Chest proud. Hands light. Just feel that heat in the other side now. Awesome. Four more like this. Four. Three. Two, tap out and pull, just like first side. Slide it back a little more. Now we lift up, down, up, down. Hands light, watching the low back, keeping the hip and knee square rather than turning out. Good, lift, lower, up, down. How is your breath? Still there, hopefully. Good, lift, lower, up. Down, strong core, also strong stability through that foot. Up, down, yes. Good. Four more like this. Four, three, two, hold it here, little pulse. Uh, final eight in this position. I shouldn't have said final, we are not there yet. Just final in that version. Hold, flex the foot, draw the heel in and out. In and out. Remember, we're feeling that hamstring, the back side, but we're definitely still feeling the glute and the back side of the standing leg. That's the one that's more important here. Pull it in and out. Watching it as you get tired, you kind of start to turn or lift up. Keeping that standing leg bent, hip goes back. Good, for four, three, two. Hold it at the top, little pulses up, down, up, down. Brace the core. Sit the hip back a little lower, activating that hamstring and maybe even that glute of the moving side. Everything works here, up, down, up, down. Imagine my hand is there, you're trying to get your heel to my hand, up, up, good work. Everyone still with me? Hopefully you've got eight, last six, four, three, you can extend the leg back out, standing leg, when we stretch and bend, hip goes back. If you're more comfortable with the bent leg, you can keep it there too. Either one works. But remember, when we bend, we're going back with the hip rather than forward with the knees. We want that diagonal line to still exist. Good, we want that hinge of the hips to still happen. Four more. Three, two. You hold the bottom, pulse the standing leg. So hip back rather than knee forward. Hands can be light, they can be off in front or behind. Your choice to elevate the intensity if that's what you're looking for today. No problem, you still need to hold on for balance. That's where I'm usually at, little pulses. Good, chest proud. Four, three, hold it there. Hold, get a little deeper. And one more inch than you thought. Four, three, two, and one. Stand up tall, flex that foot, cross it over a little stretch. Okay, when you're ready, stay standing on the same leg. Flex the other foot, stand tall. We lift and lower. Hands can be on your chair for balance, on your hips, and we're up. Good. So when we're doing this, we still wanna focus on the standing leg for stability. So if we only lift this high, that's okay, because if I lift too high and my hips start to move, we've gone too far. So working on stability by digging that heel into the ground, keeping the knee and toe forward as you go up and down, good. 
But because this is side two, you're probably still getting a little bit of glute action, maybe a lot on the moving side as well. Awesome. Up and down. Lift. Good. Lift. Can you maybe close your eyes this time? Test the balance without looking at anything. Four more. Three. Two. Hold it up. Circle that leg. Big circle around. Good, big circle, slow and steady. When we circle, we want to watch that the pelvis and the back are not moving. So we're staying in control by using the core. Reverse your circle in whatever direction you weren't going. For some of us, it might be a smaller circle. Some of us maybe feel like we've got that bigger circle going today. Good. Last one here. Hold it out, little pulse. Pulse up. How is that standing leg? Are we slouching? Let's stand up nice and tall. Feel that side of the glute work. You've got eight. Good. Six, four, three. Hold it there. Take an inhale. Exhale, bring the foot down. We lunge it back right away. Inhale down. Exhale with the knee. If the knee lift is not comfortable for you, just tap the foot. You know your hands can come on the hips or overhead rather than holding on for support. When we go down now, we want to watch that we're avoiding hips and knees wiggling. So that means you need to hold on that spine. Maybe for some of us, we just need to be mindful of where the weight is in our foot. So big toe, little toe, and heel. Good, inhale down, exhale, drive the knee up, squeeze that glute, inhale down. Exhale, lift the core. It's like there's a string pulling you up again. Inhale, down, exhale, lift, yes. Down, and up. All right, let's take it. Three pulses down. Remember, we pulse down rather than going forward. So it's down into the back knee and that front heel. Awesome. At the top, be mindful that we're avoiding the knee backwards. We want to grow taller. So if that means you lift the knee up just a little bit or not all the way, or not at all even, just keep it down. We want to focus on that posture. Pulse down. Hands light and lift. Good. Three, two, let's go four more like this. How's the second side feeling? Usually our brain gets it more, but sometimes our body feels it more. <laughs> so focus on the breath, push through, do what works best today. Good, come back to the bottom, hold, pulse it down. Awesome. Hands can come to the chest. One inch deeper. Now remember, we're gonna start rotating soon because we're gonna repeat everything from side one. We need to watch those hips, so hold. When you're ready, rotate to your front knee. Back to center, pause, shift, come back, and again, twist, center, shift. So from the side, it looks like this. Rotate, center, shift. Hands can stay on if needed, hands can be behind the head. Rotate. When we rotate, we really only move from the upper half though. So we need to make sure the hips and knees aren't going with us. That might mean it's a small rotation, that's okay. Shift and center. One more, rotate, center, shift, hold. Little pulse to the end, arms up, four, three, last two, keep the ribs down, hold. Get a little bit lower and then one inch lower than you thought. Awesome, hands light, stand up tall, let's flex the foot, cross it over a little stretch, okay. If your chair is portable like mine, let's move it out of the way because we are done with it. I'm going to grab more light weights if you have them, and if not, your arms are going to work totally fine. Step your feet wider than your hips. From those hips, rotate over to 45. Lift those arms up. From here, we inhale down, turn the palms. Exhale, pull them back. It's a little bit of intentional upper or back shoulder action here. We turn down. We pull them back. So just like warm up, everything stacks on top of one another. We push out. We pull in. We get the inner thigh and quad working now. The glute has its time. It's gonna work a little bit, but let's focus on inner thigh and quad. Good, let's take it three pulses down now. Three, two, exhale, stand up tall. Thinking of that string on top of your head, pull you up, good. Notice when you're moving that your arms always stop beside you rather than behind you. We wanna keep shoulders, ribs, hips in that line. Good, three, two, one and up, awesome. How's everybody doing? We're slowly moving on from those legs, very slowly. We're gonna finish them off now. We're gonna head into some upper body work. Good. Three, two, and up. Two more. 
Last one, hold. Lift the arms up, a little bit of core work. Reach up and over to your right, back to center switch. Inhale over, exhale back up. Option hand to the chest instead. As we're doing this, we want to think about growing taller, making an arc through the body rather than shifting the legs. So lower half stays still. It's kind of like that rotation, nothing moves. Relax the shoulders. Awesome. One more here. Good. Pulse those legs. Arms come out. Chest crowd. Pulse for three. Two hold. Arms up. Little pulses. Up. Up. Chest crowd. Bracing through the core. Grounding through the feet. Give me eight. Last six. Final four. Three. Hold it with me. Get a little lower. Lift those arms back up. One more inch deeper. Four. Three. Two. And stand. Good work. Feet parallel. Step together. Give yourself a quad stretch. Check in how you're doing. If you need water, towel, grab it now. We'll switch. Awesome. When you're ready, standing up tall, soft knees. Arms bent. We go up and down. Push, pull. Push, pull. If you don't have a weight, it's going to look like this. Push, pull. No matter what, we want to think about stacking shoulder, elbow, wrist at the top, pulling down the elbow at the bottom. Good. Push, pull. A little bit of arm work here. Standing. We'll get a little bit on the mat as well. This is a really good time when nothing else is moving to master posture and alignment. So watching as you press what the head is doing. Watching what the body is doing. Good. Push, pull, push, pull. You've got four, three, two. Hold it here. Rotate down and up. Down, up, down, up. Imagine that you're pivoting from that elbow. So everything stays rather than the elbow moving with you. Good. Down and up. Shoulders back. Four, three, two. Hold it center, squeeze those arms in and out. Think about the wrist and the elbow going in and out at the exact same time. Push, push. Imagine that there's a ball in between your forearms and you're trying to squeeze the ball as you come in. The hard part is to avoid rotating or leaning so nothing moves as you go in and out with those arms. Yes, squeeze. Awesome, how's everyone doing? Hopefully good. Nobody should answer because they want to keep going, right? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Squeeze. Four more like this. Four. Three. Two. We're going to combine a few moves. So follow me. We rotate down. Squeeze under. Come back up. Twist from the side. We go down. Squeeze up. So I want you to imagine there's a ball underneath. You're trying to squeeze it. Get those lats working. Down. Squeeze. Awesome. You've got four more like this. Awesome. This is three. Squeeze. Two to go. Two. Squeeze. Last one. Now turn the palms to face each other. They go open, close, like a high bicep curl. So I want to feel a little bit of bicep. If this is too much for the shoulder, it's not feeling comfortable, do a low bicep curl instead. Keep those elbows in at the side. You can always put the weights down at any time. If you're feeling like you got a little bit more in you, embrace that burn. <laughs> Hang in there. Keep those weights high. Good. You've got four. Three, two, hold it out, pulse it up, one inch, up, up, keep reaching long, relax the shoulders, hold, turn the palms down, push. Now notice if those arms are behind you, we should always see them at the corner of our eye, little countdown, so turn those palms up, push them up, 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 good, down, four, three, now we go two up, two down, one more round of twos. Now just hold here, hold it with me, four, three, two, we keep them moving, we go side to side, side to side, big push, you can also do a little walk out, a little shake of those hips, yes, <laughs> now have a little fun here, I know this is the time to get very intense, we stop breathing, we want to put those arms down, so remember why we're here, have a big good time on Sunday, go, push, push, last four, then those arms will really come down, I swear, last Two, hold it, take an inhale, exhale, release, awesome. Roll the shoulders back and down one more time. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see me. I'm going to hinge down from those hips again. 
arms forward, reverse fly. We do one fly, one press back. One fly, one press back. From the front, it looks like this. Fly and press. So when I do the fly, it should really look like a semi-circle. I'm rather than lifting from the side to feel the top of the shoulder, I want to hinge down and feel the back. So I want to feel like I'm squeezing in between the shoulder blades. This press back is going to activate the tricep, the back of the arms, the straight arm movement. Open, press. Take a look where your head is. I know some of you might be looking at me, but let's think about nodding the chin. Keep the head in line. Good. Four more like this. Four. This is three. Two to go. Two. Now we come back to the reverse fly and just pulse it back one inch. Thinking about the next time you're slouching, sitting down, these are the muscles that are going to help you sit a little bit taller. Keep it up. Pull, pull. Four, three, two, hold. Take an inhale and exhale. One more breath. Inhale, exhale, release. Good. Roll the shoulders back and down. Okay. Good news is we're going to come to the mat or the floor. Better news is we are still working the upper body. We're going to do some push-ups. Hands as wide as your mat. Tuck the elbows at a 45 degree angle. Feet can be together, apart, or on the knees. When you're ready, you're gonna go down for two counts, press up for two counts. Inhale down, exhale up. If you need the knees part way, take it there. If you like the knees the whole time, that works too. If you have a stable elevated surface, just like a countertop, not a chair that doesn't move, feel free to go up to an elevated surface. A little cut off here, but you can see I'm on that elevated surface instead. Awesome. Yes, we are gonna save this to the Instagram page, Mary. <laughs> but feel free to join in now too. Inhale, down, exhale, push up. So you wanna feel those chest muscles, those pecs drive the heels, the hands into the ground or your elevated surface. Watch the head as it drop, pull it back. We want everything to move down and up together. So push ups, down for two counts, up for two. Inhale, down, exhale, push up. Hang in there, draw the core in, squeeze those glutes. Let's go, inhale down. Exhale up. Now, join me halfway down, last little pulses go. Eight pulses, halfway. Six, chest up, four, three, two, and release. Give yourself a child's pose, roll those wrists out. Okay, we've made it to the floor, still a lot of work to go, but it's nice to know we're gonna stay on the mat. Let's lay on our stomachs. Grab those weights behind you if it's comfortable. Nod the chin, draw the shoulders back and the core away from the floor. Inhale to lift, exhale lower. Option, no weights here. If for whatever reason you are not comfortable on your stomach, you can also find this hinge position and just do the arms instead at any time. Good, up and down. So if that's more comfortable, feel free to take that option. Let's remember this is upper and mid back, so we shouldn't feel like we're arching into the low back. I want to think as if someone's pulling your hair up to the ceiling rather than pulling your hair back to your feet. Good, nod the chin, the eyes should stay down. So if we shouldn't be looking up, the eyes should be on the floor. Upper mid back, core is still strong from the front. Whether you've got your weights or not, you're probably gonna be feeling the back of the arm as well. Awesome, if you're comfortable and you're not already doing it, feel free to lift your legs as well. Let's just make sure when we're doing our legs that the backs of the legs are straight rather than bending. So we have lots of energy. Lift and lower. Give me four more. This is like a little bit of tricep warm up because we've got one more exercise coming. Good, two to go. Lift and lower. Last one, hold the top, hold it there. Four, three, two, and release. Awesome. Give yourself a child's pose. Roll those wrists out. When you're ready, you're going to turn to whatever side is comfortable. You're going to bend the knees, and the knees are going to be in front of you. Take your bottom hand. You're going to hug yourself somewhere in between your rib and your hips so you can feel those core muscles. Your top hand is going to come down in front. We want to make sure it's close to us. It's not too far forward or out. Tuck the elbow from here. You press up, up, down, down. So I'm getting that tricep. I also like where my hand is because I can feel those core muscles working. Let's watch them. We're not lifting up the shoulder. Relax it down. And if that's not going to work, feel free to come to a tabletop or modified tricep position instead. 
if doing that one at a time is just not going to work for your shoulder. Noticing on the head what it's doing, you want to keep in line rather than taking too much tension and leading the way. Awesome. Exhale, push up, inhale, down. So tricep, but definitely core work. Awesome. Push up and down. Push down. Let's go two more. Two. Last one. And relax the bottom for a moment. Shake out that arm. But press yourself up. We're coming to a side plank. So working the other side, giving this arm a break. Shoulder over top of elbow. Fold your mat if it's more comfortable. Keep your weight close. Knees and hips in line. Push the forearm in the ground. Pull the head back. Draw the core and hover. If that works, extend one leg. If that works, extend both legs. Make sure your hips are stacked. Our belly button is not up to the ceiling, but it's hopefully looking right at me. Option with or without the weight, you can rotate. Exhale, twist down, inhale, lift up. Exhale, twist down, inhale, lift. If that is not comfortable, you are just gonna work on that hold today. If you are rotating, watching your arm doesn't come behind you. It always stops back in line with us, so it's not pulling us backwards. This rotation, we wanna come from the upper half, just like this lunge rotation we did standing. So we don't wanna feel like those hips are moving on us. Good, hang in there. Remember, a lot of core work also involves upper and lower body to stabilize us, so keep thinking full body for everything. Exhale, twist, draw the core in. Inhale, lift. And if not, you're just holding, pulling that head back. Good work. Let's go two more rotations if that's where you're at. Last one, hold the top, final pulses. Now, hips up, watch we're not pulsing away from the shoulder. Everything stays in line. Four, three, two, and release. Give yourself a child pose. And then slowly come up to a kneeling position. Now, whatever side was your bottom side, that side, that leg is going to extend out. You're gonna take that hand behind the head, other arm out to the side. From here, we reach up and over. Inhale, over. Exhale, back up. So we're still gonna work the same side. If you're realizing this is not comfortable for your glute, it's a little too crampy, keep both knees down. That is totally fine. Inhale, over. Exhale, back up. So this is very similar to that plie we did already. If you want to add a weight, feel free to add it in. But remember, it's the upper half going rather than the lower half shifting. Can you think about drawing the core muscles in as you go? Inhale, over. Exhale, back up. If you want arms overhead, good little challenge. Also feeling front, not just the side, good. But this is the same side you just worked in side plank, so we get to work in double time today. Awesome, pulling that head back. Inhale over, exhale back. Okay, now we're gonna slow it down even more for a few. We go four counts, three, two, back up, four, three, two, keep it going, over, four, three, two, exhale up, four, three, two more. I find slower is much more challenging because it requires me to stay in control for that much longer. Next one, you go out four counts, but we hold it there. I'm gonna hold it here. Four, three, two, and come up. Awesome, weight down, roll the shoulders back and down. If you can remember, we started with that tricep press, so we do have to repeat everything on the second side. So knees in front, hug yourself between your ribs and hips. Top arm comes down, making sure it's not too far forward or side. It's in, elbow in. From here, we exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, keep the head in line. Exhale, lift, hugging yourself. So it's just a good reminder where your hand is that those core muscles are also working. That's why I like it there, because it's a good reminder. I always like to feel out where I'm supposed to work. Not only the tricep, but the side of the body. Good, lift. And if you haven't noticed, that's the same side that just worked in the side bend and the plank. So it is nice and warm for this one. Exhale, lift. Thinking about pushing the hand in rather than lifting the shoulder up to get that motion. Awesome, exhale, push, inhale, lower. This is also a really good move to do if you don't have any equipment at home. You just need yourself. And remember, if you did not like that on the first side, it didn't feel good for you, you've got that regular tricep, tabletop, or modified push-up. You've got four more. Awesome, let's go. Three, two to go. Press up, I'm starting on the easy part. And down, one more. 
and then release, let it go. Press yourself up for a moment, shake out that shoulder. Let's set up the plank. So shoulder over top of elbow, pulling the knees back, drawing the core in, push the forearm in, stay stable before you start. Hold, extend the leg, maybe both. You have the option to twist. Exhale, twist, inhale, lift. You can add the weight if it's comfortable. You can also just work on a hold. Because in order to be able to add in rotations and other moving parts of a side plank, we want to make sure we've really mastered that full hold first. Good. Pushing the forearm in, feeling the stability come from that shoulder, relaxing the head back rather than looking forward. Notice what your hips are doing. Do they stay still or do they wiggle? Your top hip is tipped back, turn it forward. Awesome. When you rotate, remember it's coming from that midsection just like the rotation in that lunge. Good. The good news is there are only two sides. So this is the second side of everything. We're checking off the list. Twist. Awesome. When you're rotating, remember that the hand stops where you can see it at the top rather than behind us. Awesome. Hang in there. Exhale, twist. Let's go two more rotations, then we'll pulse it up. And if you're holding, dig deep, keep this hold going. Next time you get to the top, you hold the side plank or you pulse the hips. Let's just watch the shoulder now will stay in line. We're not twisting away. Pulse, pulse. Stay strong to the finish. You've got four, three, two, hold. Take an inhale, exhale, release. Feel free to give yourself a child's pose if you need to. And then we're gonna slowly come up, finish off the side, bending on the second side. So whatever arm side we just worked, you're gonna send that leg out. Other leg stay straight, hand behind the head. Other arm down, make that big arc up and over. Inhale, over. Tilt back up. Now, if you're like me, everything feels different from right to left. So you might notice that here. Feel free to take your weight as well. If you're not comfortable here, you're going to take that second knee down instead. Good. Arms can be overhead. Just make sure the arms aren't traveling without the body. Ask yourself where you feel this. It should be the top side of the core mostly. We're going to feel across the front. We might feel the glutes stabilizing us too. But no, this is top side, the same side that was just working in side plank. So you have to work it back to back. Can you reach further on this side? I definitely know that I can, so maybe some of us are feeling that too. Good. Inhale over. Exhale back up one more in this tempo. Then we take it. Four counts, nice and slow. Four, three, stay in control. Pull it from the top side like there's a string there. Think of this like a windshield wiper, so instead of turning, we're truly going side to side. You've got the four, three, let's try two more. When you go slower, you also have the opportunity to master that range of motion because we're not in a rush. Good, last one over, hold it here. Keep holding for four, three, two, and release. Coming back up, weight goes down, roll the shoulders back and down. We're gonna find a plank. I'm going to show on my hands if you like forearms better. Feel free to take it there. Shoulders over top of wrist. Push the hands in. Draw the core in. Step the feet back. Hold. If that works, you can try to tap the feet side to side. Side, center. If you want a little more, we're going to go slower, but the knee is going to come up to the elbow. Knee up and down switch, but slow. Up and down. When I do this, I like to do a little look back. Either of those can be done on the forearms as well. So if you're more comfortable here, you can hold, tap the feet side to side, or draw that knee in. Up and down. What's kind of cool if you lift the knee and it's comfortable for your hips, you know, not all, it isn't always, you actually feel those same muscles you just worked. So it's kind of getting the same area, but working in many different positions today. Good. Keep it up. Draw the knee in. Good work. Strong shoulders, so shoulders over top of wrists or elbows. Watch the head. By this point, sometimes it drops, especially if we're in the forearms. Dig deep. We came to work hard. We came to work out for a good cause. Hang in there. We've got a few more minutes of work. Awesome. Notice if the sensation is building in your body. For me by now, it'll be my shoulders and definitely the side of my core. Awesome. I'm going to take it four more times. Four, and back to the plank. You've got three. Stay steady, nice long line of the body. Two more, two, 
Good, last one. Everybody meet back in the plank, hold. Take an inhale, exhale, release. Give yourself a child pose, roll those wrists out. Okay, when you're ready, you're gonna slide through to a seated position. The good news is we only have two exercises left. Keep your weights close if you're gonna choose to use them. Hands under, draw the shoulder blades back. Try to connect those low core muscles and then sit back, hold. When you're here, arms go up to the side. Just hold for now. Nice diagonal straight line. I always imagine there's a strain on my chest. Now, from here, one arm goes up, one arm goes down, up. And down, center, switch. If you'd like, you can hold your weights. You can add a leg lift. You can even lift both. But what happens sometimes is when we lift with the arms, then the legs go the other way. So we're trying to keep the legs still. I even find that I still feel the side of my body working. It's kind of like a little theme today. We didn't even know it, but it's a lot of side body <laughs> in a lot of different positions. Good, chest proud. I like to imagine looking up where the ceiling and the wall meet. So I've got a good gaze point to look at rather than collapsing the neck forward. Nice and slow. Good. Let's do one more twist each way. Twist. And the last one, in the center, hold. Option to pulse the arms, maybe you hold up, maybe you lift the legs. I actually like this position because it helps me stay stable. Good, keep holding. Four, three, two, and release. Give yourself a little fold. Awesome, when you are ready, you're going to lay all the way down on your back. Keep your weights close, you may decide to use them. From here, I want you to have a little curve in your low back for a neutral spine. So we're not pressing flat, but we're not going to feel like we're overarching. From there, you're going to lift your legs up to tabletop. Stay stable and steady. We want to avoid that pressing flat on the back. Right leg goes out, out, in, switch. You can take your hands halfway off or all the way up. You can tap your foot out a little further. Good, you can add the same arm and leg. You can add two arms, one leg. If you'd like, and you can press, you can press here. Option to nod the chin, lift the head and neck off. When I'm doing that, if I'm nodding, I'm gonna to start to feel the upper core a little bit, so I wanna think about tucking my chin, bringing the ribs and hips closer together. This is one of those movements that I always say less is more. So you can get a lot out of just the toe tapping. You can also get a lot out of the curl up extension. It depends on where you feel it. We wanna feel it here first. If you're curled up, maybe here as well. If you don't feel it there, it doesn't always mean to take the next step. It means to figure out what we need to do to get that sensation. Because if we keep adding on and we haven't felt the right muscles, we're still not gonna feel it either. So keep that going. We go out and in. Good. Music is slowing down. We're gonna keep going. One more each way, wherever you are. Last one. Now, if you can press, you're gonna press with your weights. If not, you're gonna press with your hands. Option to nod the chin, lift the head and neck off, and just hold. If that's not comfortable, you're just gonna hold here, arm extension out. For three, two, one, and then hug the knees in the chest. Awesome work. I'm gonna have you bring the bottoms of the feet together, open up through those hips and inner thighs. Just hang out there a moment. Maybe turn the gaze side to side. Yes, there are so many progressions. <laughs> so many progressions. Good, when you're ready, bring the knees back up. Step your feet about as wide as the mat. Let the knees go side to side. A little windshield wiper. How's everyone doing? I know you might not still answer me because you're stretching, but let me know after. We are still gonna stretch for a few moments though. If you do have to leave, thank you for joining me, but remember to stretch on your own time. Good, and then flex one foot, cross it over, pull through for a figure four stretch for the glute. If that's not as comfortable, you can also cross the knees and grab the ankles. These stretches are always a guide. If you have a preferred stretch that I'm not showing for that body part, by all means, take that one. No matter what though, my glutes are tight and I can feel it in all of those positions. Good, let's switch, cross over. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know after. I will stay on for a short moment. Or you can message us at any time. 
So every month, stay tuned because you're going to have more Raise the Bar charity classes on our Instagram page. Good, then draw the right knee into the chest, make a few tiny circles with the hip and ankle. And then when you're ready, grabbing the back side of the leg for a hamstring stretch. Know that it might not straighten all the way. Mine certainly does not, but I can still get a really good stretch for the back side of my leg here. If it feels right, you can flex and point the foot. If it doesn't, just let it relax. Good, then draw that knee to the chest, cross it over to the other side. A little twist, extend the arm out. Try to keep that shoulder down. If you've taken my class before, you know this is one of my favorite stretches ever. You cannot go wrong whether you've moved too much or too little with this one, I think. Let's draw the knee back in, send it down. We'll switch sides, hug the knee in. Make those circles with the hip and ankle if that feels right. And then grab the back side for a hamstring stretch. Also notice what feels different from right to left. A lot of the lower body stuff at the beginning was single-sided, and I'm sure you felt it too, some of you, that we're not always symmetrical right to left. Even a lot of the side body core work on the mat as well. So it's good to notice when we're stretching what feels the same, what feels different, how it feels different. So draw the knee and cross it over a little twist. Back. You can hug the knees in the chest for a moment if you need to. Maybe make some circles, the low back, a few in each direction. And then plant the feet flat, extend one arm up, and whatever arm that is, you're going to turn over to that side gently. Take a moment here and then gently press yourself up, coming up to a tabletop. Move through a cat cow on your own time, just tilting the pelvis, tilting the head and the neck, releasing any tension we may be creating through the front of the body here. And then give yourself a nice child's pose, maybe shifting through the hips or the shoulders or rolling your wrists out. Let's walk our hands to the right side, pressing that left hand into the ground a little harder. Good, and I'm gonna have you switch other side. Lengthening through the side of the body, especially after all that side body work we did. Good, and coming back in the center, if you can stay here, place your palms on your upper back, press those elbows into the ground. If that is totally not comfortable, just a nice tricep stretch up here works just the same. You can switch if you're up here. Good, wherever you are, if you're down on that child's pose, just extend those arms, slowly roll up. We're gonna come through to a seated position, sitting up as tall as you can, make some circles with the body in one direction. This one always feels good, especially in the morning. Good, then let's do the other direction. Awesome. And then coming back in the center, roll the shoulders back and down a few times. Just way to close your eyes, check in how you are feeling now. Sometimes we notice our energy level changes after taking class. Hopefully the energy level is up a little higher and we're feeling a little bit better than before. Thank you for joining me and Barworks today, especially for a really good cause. Let's take one last big breath in here and exhale, release. As always, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, don't hesitate to reach out at any time. If you feel inclined and are able to donate, remember that this workout was for a second harvest. So if you would like to donate, the link is in our bio. If not, have an awesome day. Happy Sunday. My name is Rachel. If I again had not met you before, thank you for joining and we will catch you again soon. Thanks everybody. Have a good day. Workout's done. You can enjoy your Sunday. <laughs> Thanks everybody. It was nice to move with everybody again too.